that one verse or line that we sang in this song, we lift our hearts before you and wait upon your word. We celebrate this week in Word of God Sunday. And so as we wait upon the Word, as we prepare to listen, let us open our hearts on this Word of God Sunday. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us fall to mind our sins. And so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ have mercy. You come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God. Direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. First, the Lord degraded the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, but in the end, he has glorified the seaward road, the land west of the Jordan, the district of the Gentiles. Anguish has taken wing, dispelled as darkness, for there is no gloom where, but now there is distress. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of bloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing, as they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster, you have smashed as on the day of Midian. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join in singing our responsorial song, found on page 59.
Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sit in darkness have seen a great light. On those dwelling in the land overshadowed by death, light has arisen. From that time on, Jesus began to preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. As he was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and his brother Andrew, casting a net into the sea. They were fishermen. He said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. He walked along from there and saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in a boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets. He called them, and immediately they left their boat and their father and followed him. He went around all of Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness among the people. The gospel of the Lord. Really very powerful readings for this third Sunday in ordinary time, and also Word of God Sunday. As we hear Jesus fulfill the prophecy of Isaiah, after John had been arrested, and he goes out and begins his public ministry. And as he goes out, he begins to call others to follow him. Simon, Andrew, James, John. Notice, after he called them, they immediately left everything and followed. Paul reminded us in the second reading that his mission was to go and preach the good news. Especially the good news, the word, the proclamation of the word of God to bring people to an awareness of the power and the providence of God in their life. And so that really is our mission as well as baptized Christians in the Lord. After celebrating Advent, we heard that Isaiah reading in Advent, the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. A light has shown Jesus is the light that shines amidst the darkness. And so we never know what Jesus may be calling us to in our lives. Would we be as quick to leave everything immediately and follow with whatever Jesus may be asking of you or me? Sometimes, isn't it true in our lives, there's a bit of a hesitation. Sometimes we dilly-dally. Sometimes we often wonder and wait because we don't know or fully grasp or understand. But when the Word of God takes root within our hearts and our souls, we have to be open to whatever it is that God may be calling us to. And we have to be quick 
as well in responding and in taking action by what we hear, by what we say, and how we put into action what we've listened to. The Word of God is so powerful, so active in our midst. Do we listen attentively? Do we open our ears and our hearts to the message that God has to say to us? Sometimes you hear people say, oh, it's the same thing over and over again. No, it's not. This message that we hear today was not the message we heard last week or the week before. It's a different message. It's a different challenge for all of us. Are we listening? Are we open? Do we allow the Word of God to penetrate our very being so that we can allow whatever it is that God is asking of us, do we hear and receive so that we can go and put into action what He wants of us? Oh, there's so many opportunities, isn't there? We have to be attentive. We have to listen. And we have to be open. And so let the Word of God take root in each and every one of us. And above all, not only be hearers of the Word, but be doers of of the Word as we take it with us and as we live it out day after day by the way we live out our Christian way of life. May we pray for the grace to be open and may we pray for the grace to be able to do it. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten God made God substantial to the Father. Through him all things were for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified and conscious died. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living of the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who is spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. United in mind and purpose, let us bring our needs and the needs of our sisters and brothers before the Lord. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we may proclaim the word of God, not only in our worship and our prayer, but in the way we address problems and questions Today's world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That legislators and judges may find God's word illuminating when making and interpreting policies and laws. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that society may truly value every developing child in the womb and respond generously and compassionately to the needs of all expectant mothers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our prayers, spoken and unspoken, for the sick and homebound, and for all those in our special intention book near our cross, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That Christians of all traditions may strive to achieve the unity the Apostle Paul envisioned when he urged the Corinthians to have no divisions among them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may take to heart the words we hear on Sunday and live them out as best we can during the week, becoming a living embodiment of God's Word. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died in Christ, for Carolyn Morgan, for whom this Mass is being offered, and for others we would like to remember, we pray to the Lord. Faithful God, you gave us your Son as your incarnate Word. Guide us in proclaiming the Gospel, bringing your Word to life in our world. Grant this in all our prayers. Through the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ, Lord, forever and ever. Please join in singing our song during the preparation of the gifts, the summons, which is found in the hymnal number 835. Turn 
eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim.
who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever.
Christy Clinton, number 652. I was thinking, you know what might be a good 
ideas, maybe some of you even have the app that you can put on your phones that give you like a little scripture passage or a, a little phrase each day or something or on your watch. Sometimes people, you can get an app that you, know, you have apps now to see what the score is of Kansas City and the Jaguars right now. And then tonight, the Eagles and uh, the Giants, uh, so forth. So it might be good to look into putting an app on your phone or on your watch to get a little daily scripture thought and help you through your week and your day. Uh, I think it's a good idea, you know. I have to do it myself. <laughs> the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Have a great evening. The song I'm sending forth is God's blessing sends us forth. Now that we celebrate him no one.
saying that this morning, though. 